Hello friends, we are talking about the ionic bond with examples. An ionic bond is formed when there is a complete transference of one or more electron from one atom to another. During this whole process, when an atom loses an electron, when an atom loses its electron, it forms it forms an ion and we call this ion as cation. Similarly, when there is a gain of electron by the non-metal atom, there is a formation of an ion. There is a formation of an ion. So what is happening over there? Over here, there is a complete transference of one or more electrons from one atom to another remember one thing it is generally formed between metal and non-metal metal loses its one or more electron depending upon the available element the metal atom loses its electron present in the valence shell and these electrons these loose electrons are taken up by the non metallic atom since the atoms are since the atoms are electrically neutral what does neutral means it means the electrons and protons are equal in number by losing one electron metal change into cation Similarly, non-metal by gaining the electron turns into the anion. Remember one thing. In the formation of a molecule, these two cation and anion will attract each other because they are having the opposite charges and it will form the bond, complete bond we call as NaCl molecule. This type of bond we call as ionic bond. Remember this thing that when there is a formation of molecule, only the electrons present in the outermost energy shell we can write the configuration sodium as 11 having atomic number 11 we will write it as 281 or we, the second way of writing the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 only the only the valence electrons normally participate while the electron belongs to the inner shell does not involve in the formation we can represent these valence electron with the help of Lewis structure how we can write we call as a Lewis dot structure this dot represents the valence electrons when there is a coulombic force of attraction which hold the opposite charge together we call an ionic bond or electrovalent bond is formed when there is a formation of bond always there will be a cationic part and an ionic part when we say the formation of calcium fluoride calcium fluoride we will write it as caf2 the form the bond formed between these two atoms two different atoms is an ionic bond here calcium is having the atomic number 20 it has two valence electrons while the fluorine is having atomic number 9 has seven valence electrons so both will want to achieve the stability maximum stability and minimum energy why do electrons form bond if a teacher asks you why do bond form why two atoms bond the simple answer is they want to achieve the minimum energy minimum energy and maximum stability if they achieve these two things these two factors 
then definitely there will be a no reason of not forming the bond the bond will definitely form these two atoms having valence electrons 2 and 7 the calcium atom wants to get rid of these two valence electrons but each fluorine atom this calcium atom wants to get rid of these two valence electrons but each fluorine atom is in the position of taking the one electron this means that these electrons are accepted by the two fluorine atoms how we can write the fluorine atoms as 7 similarly over here 7 it will taken away by the fluorine atom so the, we will represent in this way in this manner so when there is a transference of complete transference of electrons there will be a formation of cationic part and the anionic part two fluorine atoms are present so each will receive the a single electron so it will form positive and negative electrostatic force will attract each other so it will form the calcium fluoride calcium fluoride here calcium ion cation has the configuration of inert gas argon argon is having the 2 8 8 while the fluorine ion have the electronic configuration of neon neon is having the 10 2 comma 8 so definitely they will achieve the stability we are having numerous example all the examples will follow the same pattern as i have discussed just before definitely every time there will be a cationic part an ionic part the bond will definitely form be between the metal and non metal the metal is going to lose the electron while the non metal is going to receive the electrons when both will gain or lose the electrons the both will carry a charge of positive and negative because of electrostatic force of attraction they will form a bond like NaCl we are having the numerous examples I'm going to I'm go just going to list over here we are having the lithium fluoride we are having the lithium fluoride another one we are having the there are numerous examples we through which we can through which we can explain the whole concept through which we can explain the whole concept next we are having the we are we have calcium fluoride is complete NaCl is also completed so we are having the lithium bromide we can also magnesium bromide there are not a simple examples but remember one thing the whole concept will follow as I discussed before the same pattern will follow barium fluoride we are having the iron iodide barium iron bromide these all are examples of ionic bond thank you for the lecture